this video I am gonna cover two important topics first we will define what is race condition we will see how race condition can corrupt our data we will see how multiple threads trying to increment a same shared variable at the same time may lead to race condition and then we will see how synchronization can prevent it uh, one of the main problem that pops up while writing multi-threaded java application is race condition so it is good to know what causes race condition and how to avoid it basically race condition occurs when two or more threads try to read and write a shared variable at the same time now let's see how race condition can cause unexpected behavior here i have defined a class counter with a private static field count and two public methods one for incrementing the count and other to get the value of the count and then inside main method i am creating an instance of counter class after that i am creating the task using java 8 lambda expression the task is to loop from 0 to 1000 and call increment count method on counter object after that i am creating an array to hold 1000 threads inside this loop i am creating the thread passing task runnable object as an argument this start method will cause the execution of the thread to begin and this inside this for loop i am waiting for all threads to complete their task so we have 1000 threads and each thread will increment the value of count by 1000 so our expected value of count is 1 million now let's see whether we are getting 1 million or not by running this application and as you can see it is less than 1 million this unexpected behavior is caused due to race condition here the increment operation is not atomic Basically, increment operation involves three stop steps. First step is reading the value of count from main memory and second step is incrementing the value of count by one and the third step is writing the value of count back to the main memory. Now suppose two threads are trying to increment the value of count and first thread comes in, read the value of count from main memory which is zero at the moment and it gets paused by the thread scheduler. Then the second thread comes in and they read the value of count from the main memory which is still 0. Now thread 2 increment the value of count by 1, write the value of count to the main, uh, uh, main memory and uh, it will die because it has completed its task. Now thread 1 comes in, it will not perform the read operation again. So it will think that the value of count is still 0, it increments the value of count by 1 and the write, write the value of count which is 1 to the main memory because of this race condition we are getting wrong value of count value of count should be 2 but it's 1 this is the same problem which occurred in our application where we were getting the value of count less than 1 million we can prevent this race condition using synchronization technique synchronization it prevents a block of code to be executed by more than one thread at the same time we can use lock objects to implement synchronization. Lock object has one key to protect synchronized code. Thread has to request the key before entering the synchronized block of code. Now let's look at the same problem using synchronization. So in this case the value of count will be correct. Now let's implement synchronization in our code. In Java, any object can be used as log object. So here we will use object instance as a log object. Now just by wrapping the increment operation inside the synchronized block, we can fix the race condition. Now let's run our application to see whether we have fixed the race condition or not. And indeed we have fixed our race condition the value of count is 1 million as expected so thanks guys for watching this video